team and great news for you tonight. The number of those without power continues to drop as crews have worked hard to restore electricity after some outages caused by the ice storm. Right now, just 22 LG&E customers in Metro Louisville, Jefferson County, are without power. And at one point last night, that number had soared to more than 8,000 customers. Dennis Ting's been out tonight learning more about these efforts, which have been going on all day long. Whenever there's ice in the forecast, people usually worry about two things, the roads outside and the electricity inside. With some homes losing power, crews have been working all day, making sure the electricity comes back. One by one, street by street, these lg and &E crews got power back faster than anyone expected. But at a quarter to ten, uh, the big boom come and I knew a transformer had blown. Lorna Pavlovich says she lost power last night while she was watching television, right before she went to bed. I think it was about 1.30 I woke up. I went to the couch and got me a, another heavier blanket. But I, I slept good. I really did. Lorna says it isn't uncommon to lose power in her neighborhood, but losing power due to ice is something a little more rare. Usually the winters here aren't that bad. The last one that I really remember was 12 years ago. 12 years ago was 2009, an ice storm that knocked out power in Louisville. Some residents waiting 10 days before getting their lights, and more importantly in the winter, their heat turned back on. We've got the fire. Uh, of course, uh, we slept in front of it last night and fed it all night long. Some families even checked into hotels to ride out the blackout. We got tired of uh, being cold, so we checked in today, and hopefully we'll be in the hot tub before long. Thankfully, this ice storm didn't do nearly as much damage, with LG&E crews working to get the power restored, in some cases overnight. Of course, when it comes to losing power, it can never come back fast enough. Seems like they could work a little faster. If it's that cold, you know, work a little faster than you can get in. The crews are still looking at the possibility of more outages as winter weather is expected in the coming days. In Louisville, Dennis Tang, WHAS 11 News.